All right, back out working on the airship. Uh, you can see I'm starting to trench in front of uh, the south wall. I'm gonna be putting a uh, blue board on the side, so four feet deep. Um, it'll probably come up to the top of the tires. So I'm just trenching along and then I'll get all that uh, blue board put in there. All right, so I've made a little bit of progress. Um, the sun is currently going down. So this is probably where it'll sit for the night. But I'll be back tomorrow morning and hopefully finish this up and get the, the blue board in. All right, so the trench is dug and leveled. Um, just got all the blue board in there. Um, I've also got six mil plastic that will drape over the front uh, to prevent any moisture coming in. So that's four feet tall, so that should be below the frost line. Once we get the plastic over, we'll berm this up um, and have earth all the way against it. Alright, so I didn't film much of the process, but as you can see, the two panes on each side of the smaller glass are in. Um, I'm still going to have to order the five big ones in the middle, um, but we got these ones in today. Also the, uh, the berm is partially done, um, it still needs some work. Um, you can see I've got four inches of rigid foam in front of the bathroom. The rest of the way I've just got two inches, and then we've got six mil plastic doubled over. And so that's the vapor barrier. The plan for this is this will get capped with some more blue board and then this plastic will come around here and then there'll be a drip edge over. Ended up putting silicone in here. This is the one that's not done yet. So we siliconed everything and then just use these little temporary pieces to hold the windows in. Uh, there's just little scraps of EPDM rubber just so it doesn't crack the, the glass. Once we do the trim, these pieces will come off and then the trim piece will hold the glass in. So you can kind of see here how we did it. Um, where the plywood is, we've got the extra half inch overhang there. So we just shot on another piece to our little block here. Um, we'll do the same thing with the trim. We'll rip out a half inch so the trim will sit flush on the glass but still be on the outside of the plywood. Here on the end, you can see we've got the two inch rigid um, that goes all the way along. Um, it just kind of stops here. It's fully in front of the whole inside part of the building, um, but this tire's kind of hanging over. Um, I think the plan is to spray foam this um, and then probably plaster it or cover it with rock. Uh, we'll come to that when we get to it. So yeah, this was a pretty quick trip out here. Um, this is how it's gonna sit for a little bit. I just got some quotes for spray foam as well as uh, standing seam roof. So hopefully, That'll be coming up here in the next few videos. Um, there's a little bit of work to be done. Unfortunately, all that ice and water that I put on is not gonna work for the standing seam roof. So I'm gonna have to put another underlayment on there that is uh, high temp rated for uh, the metal roof. So yeah, next time I'm out here, uh, hopefully we'll get in all that stuff prepped for the roof and maybe even get that put on. Um, as well as uh, these doors. Um, I've got the doors already, but they need uh, jams made. So be doing that. And then we'll probably just plastic off the front here. And hopefully this thing will start functioning a little bit, especially once we get the spray foam in. And um, yeah, be cruising along.